you're considering either getting a realtor or listing your property on by the owner or any other website out there well what should be your best decision well we're going to look into this in this video so you have the option of getting a realtor where the cost of this is typically commission based Percentages may vary, but you're looking at around 6%. If it's a house, if it's a piece of land, it could be higher, like 10% of the value of your sale will go to the realtor. And then you have other websites such as Du Proprio, which offer potentially like around a thousand or a little bit more, the possibility of announcing your property on their website, which aggregates a lot of other houses and makes it accessible as well for the buyers. So naturally speaking, if you think of the realtor, it's a much more expensive service. And yes, there is a lot of service involved. There's a lot less work for you to do when you go through a realtor than when you do it yourself, such as taking care of the visits, making sure that they're the ones interacting with the buyers and so on. And there's kind of like legal liabilities they, they have kind of insurances that might not be as in depth with uh, other websites or might not be existent at all so there is some advantages out there obviously but there's a high cost associated to it if you imagine a property that's worth like five hundred thousand, and you're paying six percent well that's like thirty thousand that you're paying out to the realtor and i'll do a separate video eventually probably on me explaining why I don't really like how the incentive system works for realtors in the sense that it's percentage based because like it's not really true that for a half a million dollar house they're working half the amount than for a million dollar house and why they're still getting the same percentage and they're just getting paid way more it just doesn't necessarily make sense how the payment structures work and also how you know if for them, if they sell the house that you're asking half a million for maybe 450,000 or 480, what they receive, the difference is very minimal. So they really want to push a quick sale versus you. You want to get the amount of money. Anyways, there's more that could be covered elsewhere. But for now, let's just kind of compare the two. So naturally, realtors have their advantages. The biggest advantage that realtors have, in my opinion, is that they're listed on either what it's called multiple listing services website or realtor website or Centris in Quebec. And it's just this kind of website where all the realtors put their properties and all the realtors go to seek properties for their clients. Because when it comes to realtors, there's two different services you can have. You could either have the realtor that represents the seller or you could have the realtor that represents the buyer. And the thing that we have to consider is that when you list yourself with a realtor that represents you, the seller, there's going to be realtors that represent buyers out there that will be looking at your property because typically when there's two different realtors on this transaction, well, they'll, then they'll have a split. It doesn't have to be 50-50, but they'll have a split of the commission. So that $500,000 property, well, the realtor that is representing a buyer has a potential of getting $15,000 on it. Why is this important? Well, if you're putting your property on Proprio, you're kind of acting as your own realtor posting this property, which is great for anyone who is looking for a property. They'll either see it on multiple listings website or on Proprio.com, and they'll see that two different prices you could potentially charge less because you're not paying as much in commission so it could be very attractive can have a certain level of value the problem is that everyone that's dealing with a realtor to represent them and to their purchases will not show your property because why would they if you end up buying your property that's listed on another website they're not going to get a commission so they have no incentive to doing so which I think is a fallacy in the whole system. Well, it's a way to protect themselves in a certain way. It's creating this kind of monopoly and they're just trying to protect it as much as possible. So that's one of the reasons that there's this kind of disconnect between the two. And it depends, like in the different markets, obviously a realtor will be good at telling you like what price you should charge 
the Zipoprio offers that services, but they don't seem to be as knowledgeable. Sometimes it's a computer-based service that's going to tell you value, spit out value of what you should be asking for your property, but it doesn't seem as realistic, I find, as what a realtor could tell you. They'll just have a better knowledge of how to set things up to try to create the best value for your sale. And naturally speaking, when you as a buyer go to visit property, you won't be try to create the same influence uh, if you're talking through an interpreter than if you're talking directly to the person. So I've had my condo visited by people I was selling by my by myself. And you'd often get these people going like, hey, uh, I see that this needs to be changed. Da, 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 and they try to kind of make you feel bad about the price that you're asking to try to negotiate more, which if they were talking to my agent, they probably wouldn't. They'd say like the agent would say, well, naturally, this house is not brand new. Like, don't expect to have everything completely perfect here and so on and so forth. So there's advantages and disadvantages to both. I think in a market where you think that most buyers are represented by a realtor, it makes sense to go through a realtor. You'll get probably a quicker sale and you'll get more money potentially so that after you paid commission, you might get something around the same lines or even more. Realtors just seem to be better at creating the atmosphere around kind of having these people bidding higher and higher than the actual selling price. Whereas if you're dealing directly with uh, the seller, sometimes they don't create that same capacity. It takes a, a good kind of structure and how you accept bids and so on and so forth to, to try to create that same atmosphere that the realtor could set up by having like visits and sealed bids and so on and so forth. So two different kind of structures out there. Both of them have their advantages and their inconveniences. The advantages of the realtor mainly is getting access to much more people out there because anyone who's interested in buying a property, whether you're represented or not, will look at the properties there. Whereas on Proprio has the advantage of charging less, but you're not getting as big of a amount of people that will actually be looking at property there. And for myself, when I bought my piece of land, it actually worked out well for Hans Proprio, and I found I got a really good deal. And the reason why is, was that in those days, you couldn't look on that website for minimum size property, and which was, was I was looking for. I was looking for a minimum of like 30 acres. So I couldn't do that there. So I had to really click on every single property till I actually found it. And when I did, I thought it was like brand new, but it had been months since it's been there. Whereas on the realtor website, it was easy for me to pin that information and then it was easy for me to find them and that way they were selling quicker if they were undervalued or they were just higher priced because they knew their value because they had the advice of a realtor. So that's the big thing there. But now Duproprios has updated their website so you could actually do these more extensive searches easier, which makes it pretty much equivalent. Once again, there's a disconnect with the amount of people that you'll be able to get on one website compared to the other. Is it worth your while? It all depends what scenario you're in. If you think you have like a niche product and it should sell quick regardless, a lot of people are looking for this kind of waterfront property in this area, you might not need a realtor. But if you're kind of like in a situation where you have a lot of properties and you really want to stand out and you want to have someone kind of really price it accurately and everything else, maybe a realtor can make sense in that case. I'll try to have videos in the future of realtors kind of trying to sell what they're offering, kind of advantages, and maybe it's proprio as well. Who knows? Uh, if you're interested in that, just let me know and I'll try to make it happen if it hasn't happened already. And otherwise, wish you guys a good day and I'll catch you on the next one. If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing or joining my class where I guide you to apply and expand on the information found in these videos to real life examples. Have a good day.